Hey guys, Mars Thinking here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And today we have a special discussion video. We've got a special guest on the channel. You know him. It is the man himself, the homie Goresh. Say hello, my friend. What's going on, everyone? Hope you've all been good. I'm gonna talk about some potential EZA stuff coming up. So <laughs> yeah. So excited. <laughs> the funny story behind this is. Uh, I was actually going to hit up Goresh and ask him to talk about this idea um, while I was at work the other day and then what should happen but I refresh my YouTube homepage and up comes a video from Goresh talking about potential easy A's for the 350 so I uh, apparently waited too long but I'm going to link that in the <laughs> description below because there are a couple of units uh, that he didn't mention in that video that I thought we could go over in this sort of as like a little part two so the link for that will be in the description uh, make sure you check that out because we won't talk about really any of those uh, I guess the only update since that video came out was that we now know that the LR Hercule is getting an easy A um, we yeah. just don't know any of the details so but I quite liked because we like you said in your video we talked about on the podcast a little bit as well I liked the idea that you had in your video so make sure you guys go check that out and then uh Come back and watch this one so we're gonna go through a few units um they're all obviously from the margin boo saga because we know like <laughs> i mean let's be fair we know like 99.999 percent that that post the other day with the cocoon is confirming the boo saga theme so yeah so the first unit that i've got up here is the tech super saiyan 3 angel goku who is a unit that's been around for a very long time uh, Global has that extra stage in his uh, awakening timeline, I guess, with the... Epic uh, Showdown or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah, it's like the AGL Angel Goku or something. But he's, yeah, he's yeah, like the really, first unit. Weird. Yeah, the first unit that the game, like, encourages you to level up and doke on Awaken and stuff. And for a while, he was uh, sat as a Super Saiyan 2. Or actually, no way, he was just Super Saiyan Angel. And then when the... Tech Super Saiyan 3 120 lead came out, he got an awakening to Super Saiyan 3. So he's obviously very outdated at this point. His passive is high chance of attack 180%. So <laughs> Yeah. I mean that's a, like if that was just non-conditional, that actually wouldn't be too bad. That's yeah, I mean when it went off, like obviously when he first got his awakening, if you hadn't pulled the Dokon Fest one, like as long as his passive went off, that wasn't terrible. But obviously not long, I guess, after the 120 leaders had all come out or were still in the process of coming out, we started to shift more into the meta where defense was becoming more important. So obviously this guy has no defense at all. And if you don't get that 50% chance, he essentially has no passive. So yeah, <laughs> what's interesting though about this guy is he actually has fierce battle, which is kind of weird. Um... Yeah, because he's actually, let me double check here. We've got it up on the screen. So let me go back to his previous form. I mean, he this... awakens with the Super Saiyan 3 Dokkan yeah. Fest medal, which is why he has that. Exactly, but like, yeah, he didn't have it before. Uh, I feel like for so, yeah. I feel like for free-to-play units back then, it's not very common for them to have Fierce Battle, so it's pretty interesting. Mm, I remember, actually, he was definitely brought up back when um, LR Vegito Blue first came out and people were discussing just how quote-unquote free-to-play he was because obviously you needed uh... all of those units of certain typings that had Fierce Battle. And so yep. I saw this guy get mentioned quite a lot. So one point to bring up, um, obviously you guys should have checked out the video already, but Goresh mentioned in his part. So with last year with the download celebration, the STR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan got an easy A, but that was done through a special event as part of the download celebration, even though he Dokkan Awakens with medals from a different unit. So this Goku and the next one that we're going to talk about, they awakened with the Tech 120 Leeds medals. And obviously he hasn't gotten his easy A yet, but that last celebration has kind of shown that if they want to, they can just throw these easy A's out with a different kind of event. So what do we think about this guy in terms of potential? Well, I mean, the only thing uh, is, uh, so obviously this guy is tied to the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku uh, Dokkan event who has yet to get his easy A. Right? Yeah, exactly. Um, we don't know the order of the 120 easy A's, so this guy, for all we know, this guy could be the last easy A. Like, mm. the, the Goku could be the 10th one. Yeah. Um, and if that's the case, we're not seeing the sub easy A for that uh, easy A to come out for, like, a year or something. So, yeah, quite a while. <laughs> um, I think, you know, definitely possible this guy gets the uh, 
you know, the EZA from the raid treatment sort of thing that Gohan did last year, mm -hmm. if we want to think about it in the same light. But um, I wouldn't say it's, like, ultra likely, but it's, it's definitely possible because, like, look, I think at this point, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku versus Kid Buu is probably what we're going to be end up seeing for this uh, the celebration, right? So, yeah. uh, you know, could happen. Um, I don't think the super class unit for the Dual Dual Confess is going to be just Super Saiyan 3 Goku Angel. Like, it's just not going to happen, so... Uh, yeah, even I'm though still... Goku wasn't an angel during that fight, like mm. oh yeah, this guy's close. Yeah, this guy's still part of the Buu saga, so you know, definitely possible. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, like the thing is, if if we're gonna be waiting quite a while for the tech angel Goku, he he is kind of outdated now with the current meta. So if yep. this guy or the next one, I might as well bring him up on the screen as well. We have got the physical one from the barber shop. So we've seen lately with units like the AGL Cooler that they haven't completely forgotten about some of the barbershop units. So if one of these two were to get an awakening, um, it means we would have another, like we'd have a solid Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku in the meta again. So that's, that's kind of why it came to mind. It was mainly the Cooler getting the EZA that sort of made me remember that these guys exist. Um, so I think it would yeah. be quite interesting to see, like this physical uh, one from the shop, when he got his awakening, I saw quite a few people using him because he actually has the same uh, super attack animation as the Dokon Fest leader with like the twin <laughs> dragon fist thing. Yeah. Whereas obviously the free to play one just has like a very old Dokon standard Kamehameha super attack. So yeah. I think it would be pretty interesting. Um, like, like I say, they've kind of shown that they haven't completely forgotten the barbershop units. So yeah, I do think it would be interesting to see. And yeah, I, I feel like if we find out that the um, Dokon Fest unit for the celebration is in fact a Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, then I could think you can pretty much guarantee that they won't because they'd get their EZA and then no one would use them. So um, yeah, that would be kind of annoying. But like, again, I don't think it'll be an Angel Goku. First of all, it's not going to be... Super Saiyan 3 Angel because he wasn't an angel at that point anymore. Yeah, that is true. And then true. B, it's probably not going to be just Goku, right? It's going to be some kind of exchange unit. That's what I'm likely. really hoping for um, some sort of Goku Vegeta like combo type thing, but I yeah. guess we'll have to see. So this one, we started off kind of a little bit of a wild card, but these are two older free to play units that could definitely use some love. So oh, and just one more nice thing also, see. like we saw with the cooler that you were just talking about, like he's sharing a name with like STR Cooler. That is so, true. Yeah, actually. Even so. though, yeah, even though there, even though there is that, um, you know, that choice, we have to decide. Okay, do I want to use STR Cooler or do I want to use this guy? Uh, you know, there are situations where you want to use the AGL one. Um, not very many, but there are some. So they that could is very find true. Their place, I guess if these guys put EZA. Yeah, I mean, I guess if they gave either of these guys EZAs that made them very strong defensively, they would then become really good choices for. Uh, Extreme Super Battle Road when we get it because even the tech one like the tech the actual Dokon Fest tech one is not very good defensively so they could yeah. still become viable options even if it is in other events so that is a very good point so we're going to move on now to two that I think are a little bit more likely uh, which is the two base form Vegitos the tech one and the int one so obviously the big issue with them is they are very much like Boo Saga units because, let's be fair, like any of the other categories, you, you're going to be using the LR if you if you have the LR. Yeah. So, what do you think we could see with these two? Because one of them is a support unit, and then the other one is a straight up nuka. So I feel like they probably will capitalize on this. Like you're going to be running these guys on the Margin Boo Saga team. So. Yeah, I definitely think that's probably what's gonna happen because like yeah like, like you said there's never gonna be a scenario where you're like hmm do i bring tech vegeto from the boo saga or do i bring lr tech vegeto like it's just not gonna <laughs> <Yeah>. happen <laughs> um so uh, I'm trying to think what they could even do maybe they you know what they could do mm -hmm. because of the fact that they gave uh super vegeto the ability to see super attack what if they gave that to tech vegeto hmm because uh, obviously tech vegeto is kind of the standout one because if you're going to use one of these two on the boo saga team the tech one is, I think even now, considering the amount of time we've, I've played the game, I've actually used the tech one <laughs> on older teams, but I've definitely never used the in one. So yeah. I like, feel like, like he's it, the main one. Because tech Vegito is the support type unit, what if they were just like, you know what, he already has such stiff competition with the LR. 
what if we just gave him the same thing that Piccolo has, where he just has a 100% chance to see super attacks every single turn? Hmm. Yeah. Because then, even then, that would actually give you a reason to use him outside the Boo Saga team, depending on the event. Like if you really wanted to, because obviously the LR is always, <laughs> it's probably always still going to stack up as the better option. But yeah, in and that would also events, that would that would really help AGL Super Vegeta too, because if you know what the super attack is, you basically can not take the super attack with him, right? Yeah, exactly. Because like things like Super Battle Road and stuff like that, like obviously he can still tank super well and get off his counters. But if you're not on low enough health to see those super attacks, AGL Super Vegito does still get pretty destroyed by super. Yeah. So yeah, giving him some sort of utility outside of just the attack and defense, I think would be pretty cool. Um, obviously they could potentially give him like a sort of low tier Boo Saga leader skill, but I don't know what we'll uh, see in terms of that, but because he's still he's a 30% support unit for allies, which for a fair amount of time was pretty much the sort of upper tier of support. So I don't know whether yeah. we would see necessarily that go up. I'd like to see him, I guess, potentially get at least some attack and defense for himself. Um, but then the in yeah, I mean, one, I imagine he would. Like nowadays with these EAs, like you saw how insane they made that buff boo. So. <laughs> yeah, well, the one the ones that spring to mind a lot is the when they did those seven battlefield um, units, or okay, well, they, yeah, because like almost all of them had pretty much no defense in their passive, and they all gained some sort of attack and defense percentage. So, yeah. Um, but let's. What about the int one? Because obviously he's he's kind of the forgotten one. Um, his passive. I've got it up on the screen here. Obviously, you guys can see it. His passive literally is just twelve percent attack for each key sphere obtained. <laughs> so. They yeah, to... I mean, this guy needs a lot of work, first of all. Like, yeah. This guy, I feel like, would probably be more so the Boo Saga, like, specialist, I guess. And what's mm -hmm. interesting about this guy is that this guy actually has Brainiac, whereas the tech one has Saiyan Lineage. Yep. Okay. Which is weird. I don't know why they did that, but uh, um, this guy also only has six links, right? Am I seeing that right? Uh, yeah, he only has six links. And he has seven. Same warrior one, race, two, Brainiac, three. prepare for battle, power bestowed by God, fuse fire, and fierce battle. That's Which six, is... right? Yes. Oh. It's because the uh, <laughs> the way the wiki's laid out, the power bestowed by God goes down onto the next line. So I was like, I'm sure okay. there's seven yeah. things there. Yeah, now that is a good point, actually. Which is very strange. Yeah, if we go and back to the not having seven links, right. especially after the link update, is actually pretty pretty mm. big fault for the unit. That's... But... That that's an interesting one, actually, because EZAs have never really... Have they ever changed or added links? I don't think they have, have they? So No, yeah, I don't think they would do that, but, like, in order to compensate for that, they'd probably have to make them a little better. I mean, I don't mm. think there's ever going to be a situation where this guy's going to be activating all seven links if he had them, but <laughs> uh, it just adds to, like, the, uh, the, the versatility of these units, I think, to have more link availability. Yeah, because, yeah, for this guy to even get a look in... Um... <laughs> He'd have to get some sort of massive buff. Like, I mean, they we've seen strong nukers in the past. I mean, all the 50% supports now have 20% attack and defense per orb. Um, so we could easily see something at least on that level. Um, what if they change him to a double orb changer? I was going to say, him changing his own orbs as well would be very useful. So I, have we we've got Weirus and... Who's the other? Uh, the, the, t the tech... Boo is a double rainbow orb changer, right? Yeah. On the world tournament. So what what they could do for this guy actually is, what if they did um, I don't know maybe like attack and defense plus twenty percent per key sphere obtained, and then changes a random type of orb to int, and then if there's a Majin Boo Saga category ally attacking in the same turn, changes another random type to int also. Hmm. Yeah. Is that something that just I yeah because obviously makes you use him on that team. And then potentially you're going to be able to get a huge amount of orbs for him. Um, and that is, like we said, probably the only team you're actually going to run him on. So that could be good. Um, but yeah, so I think these two, because obviously Vegito is like, I guess, the main seller for Dragon Ball for the Boo Saga. So. <laughs> yeah, for all of Dragon Ball. <laughs> wow, well, yeah. So. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely think we could potentially see something to do with them. So... Moving on to the next one, we have a card that I actually really liked this card when it first came out. I like, I think the art's cool. Um, 
But even at the time he came out, he wasn't great. It's the physical Boo Gotenks Absorbed. Um, I mean, when he came out, he literally is just an extreme version of the physical Gotenks. Um, and obviously, there's more available now, but like extreme teams never used to have a lot of um, like sealers um, and things like that. And he does, he debuffs uh, Superclass enemies' defense. He has no defense of his own, but as we said, obviously, Easy A's, they're very commonly fix up that kind of issue um i think the only thing that's always been a bit weird about this guy is that he has over in a flash which is yeah like a it seems to be like a boo tanks thing it's kind of the same problem that margin vegeta has always had which is that extreme is not exactly flush with units that have over in a flash and um, obviously one thing to bear in mind is we are just about to get the link update in fact by the time this video goes up the link update will actually be out i think and so when you get margin level to level 10, it becomes a key link. So obviously that team becomes incredibly impressive and it shores up a lot of the faults with some of the margin units. Um, so what do you think about this guy? He's super old because he awakens from the Buhan medals who obviously already has his easy A. So I feel like this guy is definitely a possible candidate. Yeah, I mean, the first thing to just talk about is he's definitely a lot better after the link update because he's a boo unit. Right? Yeah. You know, he just got insane buffs from the link update. But, I mean, like you said, I think the one weakness for these boo go tanks is, is that they do have over and a flash. And that's pretty much the only key link unless you uh, level up the Majin link, right? Um, yep. So, I, I don't know. I mean, like, he's, he's definitely not bad, but I, I don't know what else they would do because the ceiling is actually pretty, pretty important. Uh -huh. uh, tank plus 100%. Maybe... I don't know, like, in terms of, like, gimmicks they could give him, I don't even know, like, maybe, maybe they just gave him, I don't know, attack and defense plus 130%, uh -huh. he seals, and then that in combination with the increased stats and the link update, like, honestly, with just those changes, he's probably going to be hitting for, like, two, over, like, 2.5 million or something, and sealing. Yeah, because that's so, the th units that seal are obviously super good for modes like Super Battle Road, where sealing is still very, very effective um, and extremely Yeah, physical. you know what they could do also? Uh, I remember just now that the STR boo, when he is in his boot Gotenks form, he does extra damage to sealed enemies, right? Or I think that's how it works. Uh, let's bring or is it attack there. down enemies? It might be attack down, actually. Let me bring him up quickly. It's uh, one of those two. STR boo... And then Margin Boo Go Tank. So the transformed version of the STR Boo, he does immense damage and seal super attacks. He recovers HP at the start of the turn, attack 120, defense 100, and then an additional 30% attack when the target enemy is in attack down. Attack status. down. Okay. Well, you know what they so. could do for this guy is because he's he's already sealing the enemy. What if they gave him um, like extra damage versus sealed enemies? Mm -hmm. So like he does more damage if you go additional or something. Yeah, maybe some sort of, um, I guess because this is all sort of themed around the Boo Saga. Um, I don't know if they would word it like that because he is a Boo unit, but I was thinking something along the lines of maybe a chance to perform an additional if there is a Boo Saga ally. But I guess technically on any Boo related team, that's going to count as a Boo ally. What, so. about a, what, about a, what about a chance to perform an additional if the enemy is sealed? Yeah, that would be does, interesting. He, yeah, he literally just seals. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so as long as you can get his first super attack off, that seals the enemy and then allows him to have the potential to do an additional. So, And then, yeah, extra attack, something like that. I feel like they wouldn't have to give him a super fancy easy A just because extreme physical is, I think, a little bit more limited than some of the other categories when it comes to Super Battle Road specifically. Um, like it was the last stage that I was able to know items. It took me ages to do extreme physical um, because they don't have a lot of natural tanks and units that have some of these abilities like sealing and things like that. So they don't have to go crazy fancy with his gimmicks. If he has solid defense and then seals and then has that potential to do a little bit of extra damage, I think he could be actually really useful. So Yeah, I agree. Yeah, he's definitely an interesting one. Plus, like I said, I love his art. I think he's cool, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the so, pose, yeah. Oh yeah, this is the only other one. I brought this up as well while we were talking about it before. Because yeah, this is the only other Boo Gotenks in terms of their starting form that is literally just the SSR version of an Awakened SR. So he only goes up to level 100. So this guy yeah. is... These two are the only two Majin Boo Gotenks in the game. So for this guy, 
got made to be pretty good, you're not going to have to sacrifice anyone else to run him on the team. So He also awakens with the uh, Buhan medals, right? Yeah, exactly. So I mean, he could get a further awakening. I know they've done that for older units in the past, but, um, but yeah, I definitely would like to see that guy get one. So the last two that I wanted to talk about, um, kind of circling back to the idea that the barbershop units still exist <laughs> and people need to remember them, is people have been saying for quite a long time that we need to start seeing easy A's for the type leaders that you can buy from the barbershop. So obviously two of those are the AGL Sayaman and then the Int Dabura. So obviously both of those are from the Boo Saga be quite interesting if we kicked off the easy a's for these units with one or both of these two so what do you think yeah. about these guys i mean they definitely line up in terms of like when they appeared like mm -hmm. in the story right uh pretty much i mean gohan wasn't a great sam at the time but like it, it, it was it's still him yeah um let me just look at them real quick so we'll start with gohan i guess uh, EGL type key plus two, great chance of attack and defense plus 30%. So obviously the first thing you do is you make that 100% chance, right? <laughs> yeah, 100% chance and probably slightly higher on the uh, the numbers as well. Um, yeah. His uh, leader, and what, I, guess, I was going to say, what I do you think in terms of his leader skill? Because it's 70% uh, for AGL types. So Maybe it could be like 4 key 100%. Yeah, that's. I was going to say 100% seems like it's not too... Like in Croce, because obviously they still are readily available free to play cards. So I think 100% is not too crazy. And then, yeah, four key would kind of complement that quite well. Because um, yeah, I think, let me just too, look at the Dabura quickly. Because I think they are literally all exactly the same, aren't they? Yeah, they are. <laughs> they literally yeah. both do supreme damage with no special effect. And then their own type, key two. And then great chance of attack and defense 80%. So these guys were like the. the these guys were like the baby versions of the type supports that we have from the banners now. Yeah. Because <laughs> so, do you think we could see? Because I know, like, obviously, free to play, um, they're very viable leaders. But for a lot of players now, especially obviously players like us, we don't really have any use for them in our team. So, do you think we could? I think one avenue they could go down is definitely changing the support um, to not only include attack and defense, but maybe widen. The range like you could make it i mean i know it's still a little bit restrictive but for say man for example it could be agl types and margin boo saga category allies because then he's still useful yeah. on mono agl but then he has a place on the boo saga team um what if they did additional things so like what if agl was getting three key attack and defense plus 35 percent and then majin boo saga units were getting uh, on top, so it, it would basically be AGL. Ah, so it's, Saga, yeah, yeah, so it stacks. Um, yeah, so and then I think if you're an AGL type and a Majin Buu Saga unit, maybe you're getting like 10% crit. Yeah, that could be interesting because they've they've started to do that a lot more. Obviously, we recently just had the Vados release on Global, who has that type of stacking category support that will go for all the categories that that unit has. So that's yeah. quite interesting because then yeah, if you're running a team. Um, that does have a lot of uh, AGL Margin Boo Saga units like the Super Vigio that we've already discussed um, he would get both of those buffs which would then actually make the unit a little bit more attractive to run um, because he's going to be helping out some of the better units on the team um, so yeah I think, I think a support role is definitely the best use for them um, yeah maybe give him like dodge or something too yeah, I guess because they could, they should start differentiating between them, because um, I think they literally all five of them are exactly the same. So if they yeah, decide they... to start easy aing them, um, then yeah, each one could potentially have different special abilities or super attack effects. Um, they could, um, they could just differentiate them the same way that the the banner type support units are differentiated with just different super attack effects, I guess. Like, yeah, because all of their passives are the same, but then it's just yeah. the super. So obviously that then sort of determines which ones are better than the others because they all do different things with their super. So things like obviously raising defense um, is super good for some of the harder modes. Yeah, healing. Um, yeah, he, yeah, because the is it the it's the physical boo heals on mm -hmm. super. I'll uh, 
I don't know if that video will go up the same day, but I'm actually going to summon on that banner because I don't have the physical boo. So <laughs> That's tomorrow, right? I think it is. I believe so, yeah, because we're recording this on the evening. I think the maintenance is going to start in five or six hours, I think, from the time we're recording this. So, um, yeah, I probably will summon on that banner just because I really want that super boo for <laughs> Extreme Super Battle Road. But... But yeah, so these guys, um, I definitely think they should start giving them easy A's because they would be good for, especially for free-to-play players. And then, like we said, if you give them a sort of support passive, especially if it is going to help out multiple categories of units, then that does make them more attractive to non-free-to-play players as well. So I do think that would be pretty interesting. Anything else you can think of for these guys? Let's look at the Deborah, because the only problem is with the Deborah. I just I was thinking about this just now. The fact that the um, the physical Deborah that we got not long ago is very much an extreme Margin Boo Saga themed unit. So depending on the kind yeah. of team build you're running, even if they make the Int one sort of like a double support Boo Saga and Int units, um, they could instead of making him. Really good. They could they could make the Int Devora more so like terrifying conquerors, mm -hmm. I guess. Even though you, when you think of Devora, you think of Majin Buu Saga, but yeah, like if we're gonna make the Great Saiyan in Majin Buu Saga, you can make Devora because he's he's only on three categories. He's only on Majin Buu Saga, Siblings Bond, and Terrifying Conquerors. I feel like Terrifying Conquerors probably fits in better than Siblings Bond. Oh, definitely. I mean, um, most people like if you didn't obviously you can see it on the unit, but like if it wasn't for people having knowledge of um, things like heroes, you probably wouldn't know he would be on siblings bond in the first place. So. Yeah. So I think if you gave him like a, the secondary support for terrifying conquerors, that would be cool. Yeah, because let's be fair, everybody loves STR Cooler and, <laughs> and his team. Yeah. So yeah, him being like a support that's sort of built for going on that team that would actually be pretty cool um, and then they could start doing that with each of the other ones as they get their awakenings as well because i think the the krillin's on movie heroes so that that would be good for them to have another solid support um who's the str one master roshi so come uh, on yeah, I, don't even, I, don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's been so long it's the only is he the only full power master roshi i think there isn't an sr but um, there's a there's an awakening, a few awakenings. I think there's a multiple colors of the same card. Yeah. Um, and the, then who's the who's the physical? Oh, the physical one's Nappa, which obviously, if you have, uh, I don't know, because the LR when when they reach LR stage, they are Nappa and Vegeta, aren't they? So yeah, Nappa could be. Yeah. Uh, Oh god, what's it called on Global again? In Inhuman Deeds <laughs> support unit. Yeah, he was the best nap in the game until <laughs> I know, Nero right? Came out. <laughs> uh, the only SSR napper in the game, and he was the physical free to play leader. So, yeah, yeah, I think that could be very interesting. Capitalize on some of their other categories, make them support units, and then I think they could be pretty good. So, I mean, obviously, we have no way to know because Dokon does random things whenever Dokon wants, but. I think if they are going to start bar uh, awakening the barbershop leaders, this could be a way of doing it. Because like a, a dual version celebration, I feel like is the best time for them to start doing some of these more interesting things. So yeah, it would be I very agree. cool to see them both. The awaken. only problem, the only problem with doing like a like a something new at the same time is that global will probably have to wait a little bit longer to get the second part of that, whereas JP's probably going to jump into it right away. Right, after the after the anniversary, or, sorry, not the anniversary. After the celebration's over. True, yeah. Because if they start doing, so say they do do both of these guys during the celebration, then yeah, potentially during the next celebration on JP, they could get the next one, and then yeah. we wouldn't get it until we get that celebration. So, um, I mean, I guess it's not the worst thing. Um, it'd be nice just to know that they're going to start doing them, but that definitely is something yeah. that you guys would have to factor in that there is still. At least for now, and the foreseeable future, always going to be that sort of lag behind for global. So, yep. But yeah. <laughs> so those are the main ones uh, that I wanted to discuss. Are there any others you can think of uh, that we haven't covered that we can quickly? Um. But... I mean, I talked in my video about the the spear bomb Goku and the 
Int Vegeta, which I think are the most likely still. I think, yeah, I was going to say, that's, that's why we, have, we haven't talked about them in this video, because they're definitely yeah. the uh, number one contenders, I think. But... So there's two that are sort of wild cards. I don't think they're going to, but the Battlefield, Majin Vegeta and Super Saiyan 2 Goku potentially can. Mm -hmm. True, yeah, because they're... They've been around for a while. Let me get. But to I'm the, looking uh, through the category. And I don't really see anything else that jumps off the page here. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I think that's it. Yeah, I, I mean, I tried to when I put this list together for this video. I tried to go through ones that you hadn't covered already and that I thought would actually be likely. Because the two. Let me bring one of them up here. As you know, I can open up both. Of them. Wow. Well, There's um, the <laughs> AGL. If they actually do this, I would be. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, the, so this one is very odd because they're technically not from the Boo Saga, but they're in the Boo Saga, which is the AGL Goten and the physical Kid Trunks, because their art is from the Broly movie poster, but they're in the Boo Saga. What, the bio, yeah. Yeah, and they're super old. Like, they've went, let me see, the Trunks, yeah, TUR on Global October 2017. So, yeah. And I see, I still see him come up as my GSSR all the time, this physical kid trunks. <laughs> so, but yeah, because they're right. not really, when you think of them, I don't think you think of Boo Saga because of the art. So I feel like those two are probably a little bit less likely. But go ahead, what was your... Yeah, I have one that's probably like, has like a... Cool. The so you remember the Spirit Bomb Goku? From Sorry, the you one cut year out for a bit there, so I don't think it will. Uh, <laughs> the Spirit Bomb Goku from the one year anniversary that they gave out as a free unit. Oh, the uh, the AGL one. The yeah, Super I think Saiyan. he because he okay. he Dokkaned. I don't remember when this guy came. When this guy got a July got a 2017. <laughs> yeah, what if they he... revisit that? That is that is the Goku from the Kid Buu fight. That is the only yeah. Um, Super like Super Saiyan, you know, by guys like Sia, whatever. Goku yeah, the spirit, but it's like the, the same thing from the like the OG LRs, like 18 key. It's that classic like, see you later, boo, <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah, so. that, yeah. That he's the old, in Japanese they call it the Ma Matana Goku because he says Matana when he's like ah, later. Okay. okay. He's the only one mm. in Dokkan, I think. Yeah, so actually, see, it might see, because if because he was kind of given out, because um, didn't they give out all the medals to awaken him as part of one of the campaigns? So yeah, because he didn't he didn't awaken during the one year. They gave out the initial card during the one year, and then I, I was it two was it two two hundred million downloads where they gave out the medals to Dokkan him? I think possibly because they gave out more copies of the card because I don't think I wasn't playing uh, on the one year anniversary, but I have this guy. Um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, I guess that means they've kind of shown that he is a sort of celebration unit. So actually, I guess it's not that far out of the realms of possibility because they could give us a bunch of extra copies, which means if you've only recently started playing, that would give you some copies of him to get you started. And then obviously, if you do have him already, you can use those copies to get the free Super Attack 15. So yeah, and uh, I think if we do get the... Um... You know, Super Saiyan 3 exchange Goku for the super uh, super half of the dual Dokkan fight. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be Super Saiyan Goku. He's going to be Super Saiyan 3 slash Vegeta or something like that. Yeah. So this guy wouldn't most likely wouldn't share a name with the Dokkan first one. Yeah, because that's the thing. Obviously, the game is flush with Super Saiyan Gokus, but this guy is uh, very Boo Saga. So if they choose to yeah. do that with this celebration, then yeah, they could make him a unit that functions very very well on that team um it's funny i did i glossed over him when i looked at the list to talk about for this video because of the fact that i was like oh yeah now i remember they just gave this guy out as part of something but now that we think about it more in a way that kind of makes it seem like it could be a thing because they've already kind of made him like a celebration unit so that would actually be really cool if it was tied into maybe part of the actual campaign either through logins or missions and then we get the raid or easy area or whatever during the celebration so that could actually be pretty cool so, yeah. i like that i like that idea so okay so i think what we'll do is we'll probably end it there because the video has gone on for a little bit longer than i was expecting <laughs> um <laughs> So, obviously, like I said at the start, the link to part one, well, Goresh's video, which we'll treat as like a quasi part one, is in the description. 
that covers pretty much all the units that we can uh, think of that could easy a during the celebration so let us know down below who do you think is the most likely who would you like to see get an easy a and uh, yeah thanks for coming on the channel to discuss these units with me um anything else you'd like to add before we head off uh no just appreciate you having me on always fun to uh you know speculate and uh, think about what we think could be coming up for the probably what i consider the most hype celebration of the year so yeah, it's crazy. I've, people are really split because I've seen a few people that are kind of like, oh, not the Boo Saga again. But <laughs> I'm uh, I'm very excited. So I guess we will have to see what does indeed come. So that is going to be it from us. Uh, obviously, I probably won't speak to you before then. So good luck on your uh, whichever units you start grinding out those link levels for. Uh, oh, yeah. And you guys out there as well, let us know down below, even though it's kind of off tangent, but who are you going to prioritize leveling up? And uh, yeah, tomorrow is going to be very interesting, or I guess today, by the time you guys see this. So so yeah, that is going to be it from us over on the Master Ningen channel. Uh, like I said, let me know in the comments, who do you want to see EZA from the Boo Saga? And who knows, maybe it will happen. So from me and Goresh, I'll see you guys again soon. Have a good one.